and now good evening friends today i'm going in this lecture video i'm going to explain about a problem which is related to inverse laplace transformations and this problem is related to convolution theorem which is an important topic related to this inverse laplace transformations important topic related to inverse laplace transformations and now here and here i am going to explain first the statement of convolution theorem and then let me do one problem let me explain already i have completed this problem and uh, let me explain these steps of this problem and now here first of all i am going to explain the statement of convolution theorem the statement is and before going through this problem and this statement we need to have idea on the formulas of inverse laplace transformations we must have the idea related to the formulas of inverse laplace transformations otherwise it seems very difficult and if you after if you know the inverse laplace transformations formulas and if you know how to complete the integration which is here then to find, then getting the answer is easy and now here it is all about knowing the formulas of inverse laplace transformation and knowing how to complete the integration now first let me move on to this topic convolution theorem which is related to inverse laplace transformations and the statement is we will use this inverse laplace transformation when in say when when we are going to find ln inverse of ln inverse of for example if you take this s square by s square by c square into s square plus b square and here here we can write this s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square as s by s square plus a square into s by s square plus b square that means we can write this term as the multiplication of two terms and if you want to find ln inverse simply if you want to find ln inverse and inside ln inverse if we have multiplication of two functions which are in terms of s then we can use convolution theorem and here let us take if you know ln inverse of first function let us take that first function as capital f of s and if you know ln inverse of f of s equals to f of t and ln inverse of another function let us take that function as capital g of s and here in the test books we have notations f bar and g bar small f bar and small g bar i am using capital g of s and if ln inverse of second function capital g of s equals to g of t then if you want ln inverse of capital f of s into capital g of s the answer is integral 0 to t f of u we can take from this let me introduce a new variable u f of u into g of t minus u from this you can take this du and since we are having du that means the integration will be with respect to u and the limits 0 to t are related to u and now this integral zero to t f of u g of t minus u du will be equal to f of t star star this is g of t and now here here star is called convolution parameter sorry convolution parameter and now here convolution operator sorry convolution operator since f of t star g of t equals to g of t star f of t you can use this formula or you can use this formula you can write you can have f of u or in the place of f of u you can have f of t minus that means you can alter this in the place of u you can write t minus u in the place of t minus you can write u you can use this formula or you can use this formula since f of t star g of t equals to g of t star f of t and now here by using this let me take a problem the problem is using convolution theorem find ln inverse of s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square and here here we must use convolution theorem to find this to solve this problem which is related to ln inverse inverse laplace transformations and now 
as you know we will use convolution theorem to find ln vars when you are having inside ln vars multiplication of two terms and here let us and here we have s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square and here for our convenience i am going to take i am going to take this total term as s by s square plus a square into s by s square plus b square i can write like that because for s by s square plus a square we have ln vars formula for s by s square plus b square we have ln vars formula hence the solution is let us take first function s by s square plus a square as capital f of s let us take second function s by s square plus b square as capital g of s and here first find ln vars of this capital f of s ln vars of this capital f of s will be equals to ln vars of s by s square plus a square equals to and now that is equals to we have we have formula for this the answer is cos at as i told before if you have idea on formulas then it will be easy to write this cos at at is the formula for this and now here let us take that cos at as f of t and now i'm going to find now g of s ln vars ln vars of g of s equals to ln vars of what is g of s s by s square plus b square and now the answer will be cos bt cos bt if you have s square cos at if you have s if you have s and b square cos bt if you have in between minus the answer cos hyperbolic that is equals to cos bt i am going to take cos bt as small g of t and now i have found ln vars of first function ln vars of second function i have notations f of t and g of t using convolution theorem if you want to find ln vars of f of s into g of s the answer is integral 0 to t integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du i have written same formula and now what is f of s and here this is f of s s by s square plus a square and now what is g of s this is g of s s by s square plus b square i have written both and now integral 0 to t and now the integration should be with respect to u don't forget that and the limits these limits 0 to t are related to u since we are going to do the integration with respect to u and now integral 0 to t what is f of t cos a t what is f of u cos a u what is g of t cos b t what is g of t minus u simply replace t by t minus u t by t minus u cos b t minus u cos b into t minus u du and now s by s square plus a square into s by s square plus b square means s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square and uh, this phone is heating up now let me finish this quickly and now that is equals to and here if you know if you have idea on integration when you are having integration and when you are having this multiplication of two in one in two trigonometric functions here we have cos into cos you need to have in between plus or minus therefore by using formulas i am going to convert this multiplication as sum of two or sum of two addition of two or subtraction of two in between you need to have plus or minus therefore i'm going to use a formula the formula is 2 cos a cos b formula i'm going to use therefore i'm going to obtain 2 by multiplying 1 by 2 outside and by multiplying 2 inside 2 cos a cos b we have formula for 2 cos a cos b the formula is 2 cos a cos b equals to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b i'm going to use that and here now i'm not continue i'm not completing the integration and i'm not completing the integration i'm making some changes now 1 by 2 outside integral 0 to is same 2 cos a cos b formula as i told before as i given before cos this is a this is b cos a plus b bt minus bu plus cos a au minus b means minus bt minus bu minus bt minus into minus plus bu and here at the end du and these are the brackets brackets are very important and now 1 by 2 outside integral 0 to t is there cos bt and now here i am making some changes before moving on to the integration and here au bu i am writing u term at one place by taking u as common a minus b into u plus bt plus cos 
same I'm writing u term at a one plus a u plus b u from that I'm going to take u s common a plus b into u minus b t and d u and now I'm going to complete in between we have plus here cos and cos in between plus here I'm going to complete the integration now and here first term integration I'm going to complete second term integration I'm going to complete cos let us imagine this total term I have put brackets here clearly bracket 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 for this this is the bracket and now here let us imagine a minus b into u plus b t as u because we are doing integration with respect to u cos u integration sin u what is u a minus b into u plus b t I have written that sin u 1 by 2 into sin u means a minus b into u plus b t and here by the differentiation of that u what is that u a minus b into u plus b t is u therefore differentiation of a minus b into u plus b t is with respect to u a minus b into u differentiation 1 a minus b into 1 plus b is constant and we have to treat t as also constant therefore b t is constant constant differentiation is 0 a minus b into 1 plus 0 a minus b plus and here integration of second term cos this is the term cos let us take this one as same u cos u integration sin u not minus sin u sin u sin a plus b into u minus b t sin a plus b into u minus b t by that u differentiation is a plus b completed integration of those two terms and i am going to write the limits after completion of integration now first in the place of u since you are having since these are u limits first i'm going to replace upper limit u here and here t and next i'm going to replace u by zero here and here and now in between upper limit and lower limit as you know you need to write minus and now 1 by 2 into sin first in the place of u t i have written t a minus b into t a t minus b t this is a t minus b t plus b t by a minus b plus sin in the place of u again upper limit t a plus b into u means a t plus b t minus b t by a plus b. and here this is related to upper limit and now before moving on to right lower limit in between we have minus in the place of u 0 a minus b into 0 0 you will get plus b t that means sin b t you will get by a minus b and here we have plus here but in bit in middle in between minus we have plus into minus minus sin in the place of u0 a plus b into 0 0 and here what we have minus bt by a plus b and now here 1 by 2 into and simply we have completed that this is our answer but i'm going to give neat answer by by doing some calculations and here simply this is the answer but I am going to complete some calculations here. I am going to give neat answer like this. And now here simply I am going to continue this. A t minus b t plus b t minus b t. Minus b t and plus b t cancel. A t will be here. And b t minus b t cancel. Sin a t. Sin a t by a minus b plus sin a t by a plus b minus sin b t by a minus b sin of minus theta as you know minus sin theta therefore what will you have minus into minus plus sin b t by a plus b and now let me do some more calculations 1 by 2 into from these two terms i am going to take as sin a t as common from these two terms and 1 by 2 into 1 by a minus b since i have taken sin a t as common plus 1 by a plus b. I am going to divide into two terms first term, second term. 1 by t is multiplying both from this term and this term. Minus 1 by 2 into sin b t as common. I am going to take sin b t. And since I have taken minus as common, what will get? 1 by a minus b. Since I have taken minus as common, minus plus will change as minus. 1 by a plus b. And 1 by 2 into sin a t. And take the LCM of this, which is a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square if you take off a minus b a minus b cancel what will you get a plus b in middle plus and here a, a plus b a plus b cancel what will you have a minus b minus minus 1 by 2 into sin bt into 
the same LCM CM E plus B minus A plus B and plus B minus B cancel 2A we have plus A minus A cancel 2B we have and here from this 2 2 cancel what do we have sin 80 into A by A square minus B square simply or what do we have a into sin 80 by a square minus b square minus b into sin b since 2 to 2 cancel by a square minus b square if you take a if you take lcm a square minus b square a sin 80 minus b sin b is the answer thank you and here if you want to check whether the answer is correct or not find a law laplace of this what is laplace of this Laplace of this a by a square minus b square. What is Laplace of sin 80? a by a square plus, sorry s square plus a square. What do you have? Minus minus b by a square minus b square sin b t Laplace b by s square plus b square take 1 by a square minus b square as common what will you get a into a a square by s square plus a square b square by s square plus b square and the lcm will be s square plus a square into s square plus b square and what we have a square into uh, s square plus s square cancel s square plus b square minus b square into s square plus a square and now that is equal to 1 by a square minus b square if you calculate this you will have s square into a square minus b square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square and now this one this one cancel you will get s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square which is this?